Welcome to this Fix It Quick tutorial. Today we're going to look at Capture for Later in Free Agent. Hi. The biggest problem that we have as accountants is people losing receipts. Um, they can have them, they can have them for a few days, and then all of a sudden they seem to go somewhere uh, and they get lost. So Free Agent have got a great new uh, feature called Capture for Later. Um, it's also really great to be able to get our clients to, to provide paperwork to us in a really simple way uh, without emailing or dropboxing or doing any of these other quite complicated things. Uh, this is our trial Sarah's Marketing Magic account. And if we go up to the right hand corner um, and we click on the button, we can see various things. And one of those things on there is this new section called Files. So if I click into Files, we can see that this is a, a very your very own filing cabinet in your free agent account where you can upload um, all of your receipts, all of the things that you want your accountant to see, bank statements, uh, mortgage statements, anything, uh, anything at all that you, you would like to share with your accountant. You can upload it uh, into this section. And then we as your accountant or whoever your accountant may be, can go on to Free Agent and see the subfolders and download them and not have to bother you <laughs> about missing paperwork. Um, the other thing that I'm going to show you in a minute is how to do this on the mobile app. So if you're out and about and you literally get some petrol and your bank fees is not updated yet, um, so you can't match it onto Free Agent, or if your accountant does that for you, uh, you can just upload the receipt while you're in the car the minute you, you get hold of the receipt, upload it onto Free Agent and not have to worry about it again. Um, there are two ways that you can add things to this, this wonderful filing cabinet. One way over here with Upload, you can select a file that's on your computer. So if I was to press that button, I can go onto my computer and find one of these other files um, and select it. And just op by opening it and then uploading it, you can see that it appears uh, on the list. Again, you can also rename things if you think that these are O2 bills, but if you think that it's not very obvious what they are, you can click over onto rename and you can put in O2. Um, it's always a good idea to tell your accountant or your bookkeeper if you have uploaded a load of stuff because they, they may not know, there's not a notification or anything. But again, um, you can see how easy it is then for, for us to come in and, and see this stuff and either then do the bookkeeping for you on free agent or um, if it's overhead or bank statements or things like that, obviously we can just download them and get on with, with doing your accounts without having to bother you. Uh, if you bear with me, we will now shortly show you another video of how to do this on the mobile app. On the mobile app, if you just press the big green cross and it's actually the bottom option. I know it's a bit blurred on this video. Uh, and if you just follow uh, what I'm doing on the screen, you take a picture of the receipt, making sure the whole receipt is in the picture, including the date. Uh, you can then say, is that one OK? Or do you want to retry it? As long as it's OK and you can see it all, then that's fine. It then asks you to just resize the part of the screen it's going to capture. Just make sure that, again, all of the receipt is in the picture. And you can say done. And then say attach. Um, it then lets you add a file name, if you wish to, to the receipt so that you'll be able to find it easily later on. So uh, I can put in that this is a Tesco receipt and uh, the date of the receipt, because I think it'll be easier to find out which one it is. And you can even put the cost that's on the receipt, whatever you want to. And then go next, and then uh, you can make sure that it's not private. You can make it private if you wish to. And then just click on Save to Files. And that's it. That file, that file has now been uploaded onto your free agent section that we showed you earlier. It's that simple.
If you save some documents under Capture for Later and later on you want to uh, allocate those on your free agent account, there's a really quick way of doing this. If you just click on the transaction um, that it relates to, it, you now have an option of upload a file or choose from saved files. If you click on choose from saved files, a list of the files that you have under the Capture for Later will appear and you just select the right one and say attach and it attaches its transaction. Um, then you just explain it and you can see it's all attached, it's all ready to go. There you go. If this has been helpful, please like it below and subscribe to our channels to see more of our videos. And if you need a free agent friendly accountant that's easy to talk to, please get in touch. Thanks for watching.